Hey you guys, Keith Malloy here. I'm gonna give you some tips on duck diving. If you duck dive properly, it's really gonna help you get out in the lineup. If you can't duck dive, it could take you 20 minutes to get out. If you can do a proper duck dive, you can be out there in three minutes. So as far as where your hand placement is, you want your hands on your rails, you know, a third of the way back. Feels comfortable, and then your knee on the back of the board right here. And with your other leg that's off the board, you use that to balance as you're pushing your board under. And what you want to do is balance over your board until it submerges evenly. Once you get the board about a foot underwater, then you're going to lay on the board and actually get under the water and go under the whitewash. If you're on a bigger board, say like a seven foot board, you're going to want to put your foot on the tail of the board rather than your knee. It just lets you put more weight back further on the board than with your knee that would be up here. And then once you're going through the wave, you're just holding on, you can let your knee off, and then as the wave breaks over you, you kind of punch your board through, and the flotation of the board will help you shoot through the back of the wave. So once again, you can practice duck, a duck dive in calm water. I suggest it just to really be able to learn how to balance and keep your board underwater so that you can push through a wave eventually when you get there. As you progress in your surfing, you ride shorter and shorter boards, you will be able to utilize the duck dive and it's a great tool for getting out in the lineup with ease.